Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. Today I'm gonna be continuing on with my Asian food tour by this time covering the country cuisine of Taiwan. That's right, so I'm gonna be trying Taiwanese food today in this episode. And this is not my first time having Taiwanese food, but I haven't had too many Taiwanese restaurants in LA, especially in the last few years. So today's gonna be a very interesting occasion. I'm going to this restaurant in San Gabriel called Taipei Bistro, which is from what I heard, one of the absolute best Taiwanese food spots in Los Angeles. Very authentic, very traditional, and the family has a culinary background going back quite a number of years. So of course, I'm very excited to be able to try this. So if you guys wanna see what Taiwanese food looks like and what dishes you should order if you go to a Taiwanese restaurant, then you've come to the right episode. You need to stick all the way to the end so that you can see this amazing Taiwan food experience. And also, if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because I put out these awesome food videos weekly that you just don't wanna miss. So take a moment and do that right now. And in the meantime, I'm gonna be driving out to San Gabriel and headed to the spot. And I don't really come out that often because it's kind of far from where I live, but truly the best place to have Asian food, especially Chinese food. Yep, there it is, banchan chicken. If you guys remember, I went there for one of my episodes. Awesome Korean fried chicken. But today, switching gears and trying some of that Taiwanese food. So I see it up ahead, Taipei Bistro, here I come. So to give you a little history about this place, Taipei Bistro, it's been here for about 11 years as of the making of the video. And like I said, they make really authentic Taiwanese food. In fact, a lot of it you can find as street food if you were to go to Taiwan. Isn't that pretty cool? So yeah, a lot of people in the area, they know about it, authentic delicious Taiwanese food. They do dine-in, takeout, and they even do catering as well. So you got a lot of options you can work with in this restaurant. So anyways, let me show you some of the popular Taiwanese foods I decided to get today. Beginning with the first one, this is the Taiwanese popcorn chicken. Looks delicious, doesn't it? Small pieces of chicken nuggets that are breaded, deep fried, extremely popular in Taiwan. If you're a fried chicken fan, you definitely need to get this one. You hear that crunch? <coughs> it's crunching. There's a like nice crispiness to it. I love the way that it's breaded. It's fried. Perfect balance of spices and saltiness to it. Wow. Very good snack. Yeah, this is such a great snack item. A really good street food if you go to Taipei, anywhere you go to Taiwan. And of course it's good for sharing like around the table as well. Definitely don't miss out on the fried chicken. This one is the Taiwanese beef noodle soup. This is on their banner. Best beef noodle soup in town. As you can see the soup is right in there and this beef has been boil cooked for hours. So it's supposed to taste really good. The beef is in there and there's also tendon in there as well and some vegetables. And I got the spicy one. You could get the regular and the spicy one, but I decided to get mine spicy today. Ooh, this broth looks so good. Like that nice dark soy sauce color and it's very thin as well. Mm. Wow. It is like so nice and soupy. And it has like a very subtle beef flavor. So it's not like really overpowering, creamy flavor to it. It's like a very nice, silky beef flavor all around. So now I wanna try some of these noodles. Oh wow, the noodles are delicious. Absolutely delicious. And by the way, you can, it comes with the side of these vegetables too. I think these are like pickled greens or mustards or something. You kind of put it on top in order to add some of that sourness to the overall meal. And now I wanna see what it tastes like together. Oh yeah, that is so good. Oh man, I don't wanna miss out on the beef too. Look up that big piece of beef in here. Mm. 
That's like a nice bite to it. So I decided to split mine, beef and tendon. So there are pieces of tendon that are in here as well. If you want to kind of make it adventurous, definitely go with the tendon here. And this one right here, this is what's called the Taiwanese oyster omelet. This is the first time I think I've had an oyster omelet in a Taiwanese restaurant. It's made out of eggs, I believe, and there's uh, vegetables that are inside and oysters in here as well. Wow, 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 wow. Oh man, the, the oysters I definitely taste in there. That is so awesome. And then the omelet itself, it's like, it has like an eggy type of a, so it's not really doughy, it's, it's a little bit more on the eggy side because it falls apart in your mouth. So just imagine that with that sweet sauce that's all over it, kind of like that egg-like texture that dissolves once you eat it and that oyster, man, that's a killer combination. And look at this one. This is a very interesting one. The pork thread noodle soup. Very thin, very thin noodles in here. And it's kind of like a creamy broth, kind of gray colored. We've got some intestines in there as well. Another one of the specialties of Taiwan. I think I should definitely try the soup first. Ooh, oh yeah, I love the soup. It's not too salty. I love the creaminess to it. It has a good like oyster flavor to it. Mmm, oh, the noodles, really soft, and it complements the soup so well. I love the fact that this noodles and the soup, they all blend together and taste so wonderful. And this one right here is the Taiwanese sausage. Yes, Taiwan is very popular for their sausages too. As you can see, the sausage is on top, the rice is in the bottom, and we got some mixed veggies that are on the side. This in itself is a complete meal. Interesting. The sausage, you know the first thing that comes to my mind? It tastes like a sausage, but it's kind of sweet though. This isn't the first time I've had Chinese or Taiwanese sausages, but I think this is the first time in a long time that I've had like Taiwanese sausages all on top of this rice that's underneath, white rice. Wow, really good comfort food. All right, and this right here is the Taiwanese pork bun, the gua bao, which is very popular in Taiwan. Like the bun is on top, which is used in Peking duck as well. And then the pork belly is in the center of this, along with some of these veggies. Yeah, this is definitely a good appetizer to have. By the way, there is a lot of fat on top, so probably not for health conscious people. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, yummy, yummy. Man. You know what it tastes like? The pork is delicious. Soft, flavorful pork. And it's sweet, too. Yeah, it's like sweet. And the bun itself, very soft as well. Guys, if you've never had a pork bun before and you see it as an appetizer, even if it's not a Taiwanese restaurant, even if it's like a Japanese restaurant, order it because it's so good. And this one is the pork chop over rice, another very popular Taiwanese food. That's the breaded fried pork chop on top of the rice in the bottom. And it comes with some vegetables on the side. That's like tomato and bean sprouts, broccoli, and cabbage and egg and tofu all in this nice little box that's kind of like a bento box in some ways wow mm. i can't describe the breading it's like it's so crispy that's what i can say it's like it's not tough it doesn't grate against your mouth it's like that crispiness that disintegrates into your mouth and the pork is nice and soft as well. Not tough, not like poor quality. Really nice quality pork they got going on here. Oh yeah. Mm. Of course rice is good too. This is like your definition of comfort meal right here. So you got your veggies, so you got some healthy stuff on the side like this tomato right here. Mm. Tomato complements pork so well.
bean sprouts, everything, you're all set, man. This is like your perfect pork chop pento box right here. And this is really as authentic as it gets because my dad, he's been here before, he's tried the food and he says it tastes just like in Taiwan, very similar. So that's obviously good news. So if you guys are here around the LA area and you're looking for a good Taiwanese restaurant, then come here, Taipei Bistro, they got all of your classics here at this one spot in San Gabriel. And if you guys don't know what to order in the restaurant, whether you're here or whether you're in any other Taiwanese restaurants, just get what I got because all of these things that I showed you in this episode, all classic popular Taiwanese foods. So remember that Taipei Bistro here in San Gabriel, your number one Taiwanese food spot in LA. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this episode, guys. If you like what I'm doing here on the show, give me a thumbs up. Also comment on the section below if you've had any of this food before. I'd love to hear your, your thoughts or maybe there's some other Taiwanese dish you would like to suggest. Let us all know. And finally, subscribe so that you can get these awesome food videos on a weekly basis. Well, I hope you have a rocking day today, folks, and that you'll try some of this awesome Taiwanese food sometime soon. And be sure to also check out my other videos on the screen so that you can see some of the other Asian foods I've done around the city. So I'll see you guys in the next video.